Happy Tuesday, Wildcats. And happy Valentine's Day. That is a joke. Got to run that off. The Simpsons, greatest, one of the greatest Valentine's episodes of ever all time. So if you hear me say I choo choo choose you today, it's two things. It's from The Simpsons and it's also the Purdue train. It's like, um, that's the way I am. Uh, don't forget today, if you have um, brought in someone, if someone you've received someone, a big old teddy bear or something like that, we'll put that in your locker. If it's really big for your locker, bring it out of my office. It can sit in the, uh, in the at the tables today. Uh, we'll hold on to it till the end of the end of the day, but we don't really want to cause it to be a big disruption here at school. So, with that having said that, also too, you realize you guys bought nine hundred cookie grams. Nine hundred. There are not even nine hundred students in this place, so we did a great job of really supporting our best buddies. Like it pays for their field trips for the rest of the year. So, great job, Wildcats. I will say this. If there's a mix up in the orders, you're gonna get all chocolate chips. If you order sugar or got that you're getting chocolate chip cookies, listen, they're all delicious. So there you go. But thank you so much for supporting uh, Best Buddies and sitting out the cookie brand. So we really appreciate that. Let's get to announcements. All right, today is Tuesday, February the 14th, 2023, and these are your morning announcements. Wesley Middle School is an avid school-wide site of distinction. The mission of Wesley Middle School is to reveal the genius of each wildcat through the culture of joy, respect, and excellence. We believe every person deserves to be seen, affirmed, and to grow. All right, let's make sure we're wildcat ready, everyone. Our lanyards and our IDs are around our necks. Our binders and our agenda books are with us. Our backpacks, fanny packs, and purses are in our lockers. Our hats, sunglasses, and hoods are off. Our AirPods and any other listening devices are left in our lockers and put away. Phones are put in our lockers. Blankets stay at home. All right, today's schedule is periods five, six, seven, eight, and one in between an advisory and end of the day advisory. All right, let's clean up West Lane. Let's make sure we clean up language. I uh, think before you speak, we're having another issue already with West Lane caught lacking, and now all of a sudden that becomes because you guys keep putting up there because we get alerts from our superintendent, it becomes a legal issue. So if you put them up, I've contacted Meta. We find out we have to expel. Let's just not put it up there. I don't understand the um, what we're doing. Also, too, if we find your if we find your phone with a picture that it was up on Westlane caught lacking, we'll take your we'll take your phone away. We will not give it back to you until we've done an investigation. And I bet you that takes all the way through May twenty eighth. So before you speak and before you post, think: Is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? And is it kind? There is nothing on Westlane caught lacking that is any of those things. Don't post. On time every time, that's Wildcat time. Save the day, February 24th is our Westlane PTO. Presents the Fire and Ice Winter Dance, sponsored by Icy Hot. No, I'm just kidding. It is Fire and Ice. Uh, and so the cost is $5, and it is from 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, a couple of kids the other day said, well, we don't know what day it is. We don't know what time it is. We don't know how much it costs. I'm telling you right now, it's $5, and it's from 6 to 8 p.m. Bring money for concessions or for Icy Hot, I don't know, it, that's what, you know, whatever. Um, and we will go ahead and have that dance that evening. I'm looking forward to it. Remember, all grades get to go. All grades get to go. Don't forget yearbook time. You got about two more weeks to purchase a yearbook. After the 28th, it's over. Uh, so it's $30 for a yearbook. All right, don't forget, uh, this Thursday is a deadline to sign up for our West Lane Softball Clinic from February the 19th. 19 to 26 pay $15 per session and you want to know more information go to www.gowtll.org if you're interested in choir north central this thursday there'll be a meeting uh, at north central at 7 p.m for all choirs if you're interested in auditioning two weeks from the day with mr a if you're in my, if you're interested february the 28th after school all right celebrating black history month past present and future Today's uh, person comes to us from uh, Dawson Witty. Thank you, Dawson. It's about John Coltrane. He's a very famous jazz musician who primarily played the tenor saxophone. He was born September 3rd, 23rd, 1926, North Carolina, moved to Philadelphia after graduating high school, and then he started his musical career by playing the alto saxophone in the Navy band. Then he switched to the tenor after playing some nightclubs. Caught the attention of Mr. Miles Davis and his quintet 
He joined in 1955, but was fired in 1957 for his unreliability. Uh, he had developed a name for himself and started to record under his own name. He was renowned for his improvisational skills and joined uh, Miles Davis one more time, performing his own quartet that went on to become one of the most popular jazz groups of their time. He died in 1941. He died at 41 in 1967 from a liver tumor, but his impact on jazz music will be forever. So I think a great question would be for today, Trivia Tuesday, the Black History Month. What city is most often considered the birthplace of jazz? What city and state is considered like, like a city, comma, state, like Indianapolis, comma, Indiana? It's not that. Uh, what city is most widely considered the birthplace of jazz? This is not an exact place. Um, but it's like this city has kind of come up the most whenever you talk about jazz. And so which city is that? And so again, the let's say, let me give you a number. Let me give you a number here. The ooh, the seventeenth person that will that the seventeenth person that emails me I'll count seventeen for the right answer, right answer and advisory class will get their advisory class some a reward, treats. All right, let's make sure we take care. Look at the tutoring today. There are no tutoring today. Remember, there is no tutoring for today. Go home after school if you're not planning on staying for tutoring. Breakfast students, you must report directly to the cafetorium off the bus to get breakfast. And all cell phones are in your locker between 915 and 415. They'll be taken if they're seen or heard. Don't forget our motto, every wildcat, every day gets better. All right, enjoy your day. Uh, this is a little bit like Halloween. Um, where you get a little candy in you, a lot of sugar in you, and then you guys kind of go a little bit overboard each day. Let's try to keep a nice, calm lid on things today. Um, and, you, you, you know, that's what I'm asking. Uh, we'll probably be chill, but let's, you know, if you didn't get something for Valentine's Day or did, or you want to profess your love, whatever, uh, let's just kind of keep a, a, keep a great day today, um, enjoy ourselves, and have a terrific Tuesday. Thank you.